Welcome, my friends, uh, to this video. My name is Veras. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, and today, I'm going to be explaining why Olux, this city here, this city here, Olux, is the worst l designed city in the game. Um, no, 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 no. Not designed, built. Because the design is understandable. It's in a swamp. It's supposed to be ugly, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I can, uh, I'm going to go into that and explain why I dislike the city so much. Um, but before we get into that, um, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe button. We just hit 330 subscribers. You guys are absolutely killing it. Thank you guys so much for that. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. Let's walk in. Now keep in mind, um, and as I said in my top five worst cities in the game, Levigar is this beautiful marble city. And like the next uh, city after Olux, like the next big city is Sinfrost, which is obviously one of the most beautiful ones in Windcraft. Those are very rich cities. So it makes sense for Olux to be nice and worn down, right? So it makes sense for this to be worn down. A, like, like I've, I've heard it before. Like in the comments for the last video, uh, one of you said, Olux is meant to look terrible. It's a very poor city. No, there's a difference between it being built terribly and then it being run down and uh, it looking overgrown and stuff. Nemrect um, is a city that is supposed to be uh, broke and, uh, and they don't have much money and it's overgrown and it's the kind of a similar vibe but it's so much better than Olux. Um, and this such is so, like it's supposed to be a much bigger city than Nemrect really is. First of all, there is no 3d to this build at all it is flat walls up this is the supposed entrance to a large city i get that the tops are supposed to be broken off but this is flat bro flat you walk inside okay you have uh you have some of these farms around here on the sides and you walk in and then this is the main square this is absolutely terrible i could build this in five seconds and that's not saying anything because i'm a terrible builder they literally just they have three houses here which for their builds are fine the houses look great i like the use of stone i like how it's a bit like uh like incorporate some asian like qualities into it well at the same time making it seem a bit more medieval as well these three houses are fine what, 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 what do you have besides the three houses? Well, for the paths, they literally just randomized dirt, cobblestone, and gravel. And that's literally all they did for the pathing. Literally nothing else. Okay, cool. Sure, why not? Then they have a ton of these, just the, these little tents that have nothing to do with anything. They have a potion merchant in one. This thing here is for nothing. And I understand it's supposed to be poor, but the build quality. What is this? Like, this tent just isn't, it's not even decent. It's just wood on wood on wood. And I understand that they're farmlands. And I understand that, like, it's not supposed to be a really rich place. But the build quality compared to this in a place like Nemrect, Nemrect has, like, the city is built smart. This, they just decided, no, we're, we're going to have a central plaza where trading happens. This is their thinking. And then we're going to have a ton of farmland. But the, the problem is, is that, look, 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 this path with the grass and the stone and the dirt is so bad. There's no sense of like, oh, this is actually like a used road. No, it just feels like, like, cluttered with nothing it feels cluttered with nothing like olux needs a rework please bro there is so much potential here i love the mountains in the background the mountains in the back look amazing the trees look absolutely gorgeous these uh buildings are fine and but it looks like they're just plopped on the ground there's no like like it's not connected to the ground at all i feel like you could just if you were to lift these buildings out of the ground like they're it, they feel like they're just put on top of it like without any like put some stones here you know if this is made out of stones and it like they're trying to make it feel like like the stone is part of the ground instead of putting so much grass here make like the stone into a part of the ground where it makes it feel like it's a part of it you know what i mean i don't understand why the builders decided to just like 
plop things down. They have, it's just all completely flat. It's all completely flat. I don't understand why it's flat, first of all, because you're coming up onto kind of a plateau here. Like, up until here, it's not flat. It goes up and down, it goes up and down, and then all of a sudden you reach here where the buildings are, and it's completely flat. Are you kidding me? Like, if it's supposed to be run down, it wouldn't be flat. It wouldn't be. But, like, they just plop down a ton of houses and buildings and little farms everywhere, um, like, to counteract it being flat. Um, and then they go down six blocks, and then it's flat down there as well. Um, the farmland is a little bit better because it, it is more, obviously, farmland. But it is mostly this little, the, the, the center town that really bothers me. Oh, someone leveled up over here. Um, I just, th this is not a good town. Um, they need to update it. The green aesthetic is fine. The house itself is fine. Um, but add some, first of all, vertical up and down to the grass here. Make it go up and down. Add some stones maybe here. Maybe add some stones. Um, put something over here. I feel like there's so, like, something is missing over here. I feel like the farmland right here is kind of misplaced. That's kind of what I'm thinking with this place. Um, and I, the, the worst travesty is the fact that they have a scroll merchant here. Sit, like, they put a pole that says scroll shop and put the scroll merchant next to it. Like, there was zero thought for the scroll merchant. Why? Why could you not? Like, a simple solution. Put the scroll merchant in this, in this right here. Put the scroll merchant here. Put him inside one of these huts like they do in some of the other cities. Why do they put him out on the right side here, in the middle of nowhere, next to the bank, just here? I didn't even know that the scroll merchant was here until... Uh, until I happened upon it one time in my playthrough of the game. I didn't even know the scroll merchant was here. This swamp area is so unbelievably beautiful with the bright colors of these like, okay, let me show you w what this place could have been because it's all green and brown, the city. And I understand that green is the color for the city. But there is so much color to the swamp here. You have these beautiful purple flowers. These very cool blue flowers. You have these reeds alongside this little river going up here. These blue flowers. There is these purple and red mushrooms. And there's so much character and it's so lively. There's so much water going through it. And you would think that this city that is inside of a swamp, it would have... Maybe some water going through it, you know, you know, maybe have it built into the swamp like 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 I don't know, bro. It's just it's missing something to me and it definitely needs it. Just look at the water. Like if they would have incorporated more water like this into like the center of the town made like a little swamp, like make it a swamp, you know, um, it would have. I feel like that would have been so much better. Um, it's definitely missing out. And again, these walls are so bad. It's all just wood when they use stone for their buildings. Look, look, this farmhouse has stone, but the wall doesn't have stone? That doesn't really add up to me. And they have these purple flowers here that are so beautiful and so nice. But you come in here and it's just grass. It's just stone, wood, and earth. That's all you see. That's literally all that there really is. It needs some color, bro. Um, I, I dislike this. I don't count the balloon as part of it because that's not part of this town. That's more of a player thing. That doesn't really count. I really dislike Olux. This town is just so ugly. It's just so ugly. And the swamp is so so much more beautiful than, than Olux lets it out to be. Um... And it sits as one of the ugliest cities in Gavel for sure. Not by far, but it's definitely the ugliest city in my personal opinion. Um, if you want to hear more opinions, uh, keep on watching other videos, I guess. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Sorry, making this video has actually kind of made me more annoyed about this town. Because there's so much potential to it. Like, there's some parts that are so nice. And then they randomly have, like, the... The scroll merchant chilling out by himself over there like bro put him in one of these tents that's sitting here unused 
<sighs> but yeah, I'll let this video off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.